Hi, this is Codename Gamma, and this is going to be a rundown of what's in the cheat table and how to go about using it. Uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is install Cheat Engine. You need at least Cheat Engine 6.7. Not that you would go and download a later version, but if you have a later version installed, update to the latest. So, once you get it installed, you're going to want to click this over here and select Sonic Mania. We're going to go ahead and open it. Then you're going to open and then you're going to find and browse the cheat table you downloaded and open it. Once you do, you should see everything here. We're not going to concern ourselves with this top part because we're not going to be searching for any addresses. You can actually, well, we can't move that up, but we can't really hide it either, so don't worry about it. So. If we open these up, everything with three dashes has more to it. If we don't want to see it, we can hide it at any time, because not all of it's going to be useful all the time. So, let's go ahead and get into a level. Studio Opolis Zone is great to test on. So if we go into levels here, we can change our current level. So let's change that to 14, right? Now notice nothing happened in the game. That's because the game doesn't update this value or read back from it until after you change it. So here we have dev menu and it's called dev menu because you can access the dev menu with it, but that's not all it does. If you double click it, it gives you a few options and it puts the, games, the game into different states. So right now the game is running, it tells you it's running. So let's go ahead and turn this back to reset game state. And there we go, our level reloads, and now we're on act two. What we could do is if we want a quick reset, we can right click this and then we can go to set or change hotkeys. And apparently I already have it set to 8, which brings up the dev menu, so that apparently didn't bring up the dev menu because it's set to a value of 8. So if I press minus, it toggles that to a value of 8 and it brings up the dev menu. Easy peasy. So let's go ahead and... Go ahead and go to Chemical Plant. Now we got tons of options here. You can see right now our time in seconds is ticking away. If we don't want that to change, we just click it. And there we go, it's locked at 8. We could change our score if we wanted to. We want to add rings. We'll lock this at 80. And now it's telling me I can go into Supersonic. Same thing with lives. Let's go ahead and lock this down to 99. And what locking down does is it changes that value back as soon as it changes. So if I go and I get hit here, let's find an enemy. And hope Tails doesn't mess this up for me, right? There we go. As soon as I lost the rings, it re-added 80 rings back in, and there was no... It was instantaneous. So if we didn't want this to happen, we could turn it back off, and next time I get hit, this will turn back to zero. So if we want a debug mode, we can lock debug to, to we can lock it and change that to one. And now if we press the the debug key or button, then there we go, debug mode. And this works pretty much any time in game, except I believe time trial. But that's fine, you shouldn't be using the bug there anyway. Um, mean Bean Machine Code, so if you wanted to go in and make an awesome combo or give robotic crappy beans, you can just go in there and set this. Everything involving your character is set under the character option. There's X and Y position. Notice when I move around that that value updates. So if I wanted to say teleport forward, what I can do is set and change hotkeys. And here I set one of seven, and I tell it to increase value with 100. So it's going to take its current value 
and add 100 to it. So now if I press 7, there I go, I get teleported forward. So if you wanted to quickly get through walls or barriers, that's what you'd end up using. Uh, spin, dash, spin dash rev count. Notice it says zero, so you might not know, okay, well, that says zero, what do I put there? Well, if we spin dash, see how it goes up? The max value is six, or I believe it can go up to 12 if you really force it. And if you let it go, then that's our spin dash. So if we lock this, let's say we lock it to, I don't know, 18, that works. And then we do a one tap, there we go, we go flying. We can unlock that and next time we go ahead and use it, it'll update the value and go back to normal. If it doesn't go back to normal, we can reload the level and that should change it back to normal as well. Everything that says script by it is a script. So you can just go ahead and uncheck and check it. And you don't have to deal with values or anything else. It just toggles on and off. So say we want super peel out. There's a couple of options here. There's super peel out enabled if you're Sonic only and want that figure eight animation, we gotta turn this on. Then we'll go ahead and load into a different level. And now we have super peel out enabled. So we also have move sets. So let's go ahead and we can change this to tails. And if we load in again, now when I double jump, I start flying. Notice it uses the running animation. It just uses whatever animation it has in that setting. So sometimes you might go invisible if you fly in, if you set this to knuckles and you try to fly a Sonic, that happens. So if we want this to go normal, we just uncheck it. We can reload the level and now we'll go back to normal. Uh, player identifier. So if say I wanted to get into a knuckles level, we can change this to four, that's knuckles as, I don't know, uh, let's try tails. So we go over here to force character selection. Now once this is enabled, we can change whatever character combination we are. So let's go ahead and change this to tails, knuckles, We change that into tails and then knuckles. And since we set this player identifier to four, we go here to lava reef three. It thinks we're knuckles. Well, because we are knuckles. So let's switch that around. Like I said, these both have to be set. So player one to tails. Let's reload back in. And it's forcing us as Knuckles, which I guess can happen. Um, it has its uses. Sometimes they're not great uses, but it does work. We can restart from here too. We don't have to use the dev menu. And there we go. We're in with Tails and Knuckles. I really hate this boss, so we're going to go ahead and just restart again so that we're, we're out of here. Uh, with force character selection, you have to set both of these. Otherwise, it's just going to set you with Sonic as player 2 or whatever it's defaulted to. Uh, we can go ahead and force super peel out. So let's go ahead and change this to on. And then as tails, I can do a super peel out or I could do the same thing as Knuckles. We can go ahead and unlock this and change it to off. If you're changing levels constantly, you're gonna wanna have this locked so that way it keeps changing it back on. And then there we are, Super Peel Out now doesn't work. 
So say we wanted to do We can disable our super music here. All we gotta do is check it. Current super state all characters. So this is kind of interesting. If we set this, if we lock this, and we change this to one, see how Tails turns black? It's because it's trying to change him in super and it's not really working too well. Probably better for development use. But if you go into, go into a more manageable stage. Well, that's a, just a way to get black tails now, isn't it? Let's see here, uh, what can we do? Remove ring check, remove emerald requirement. So if we get in here, we can turn into super tails. And as you can see, our super identifier changed to two, wherever the heck that is. So, it's a little overwhelming with the amount of data you have here, but... There we go. It changes to zero because I ran out of rings. But it did say two at one point. You could probably watch the video, which should have said two. We want the, uh, the ring combi box. Just turn that on. If we always want it on, we just lock it. We can play with our acceleration here. If you don't know what a value does, you can just take it. And let's go ahead and double that to 48. Let's double that to 24. And then now there's a bit of an immediate difference. We can turn this up more to exaggerate it. Just play around with it until you get a feel for what you want. If we want to fly our em modify our emerald data, all we gotta do is go over here and change any of these from one to zero or zero to one, and now enable or disable them. Make sure you lock them, and then if you beat a level or a special stage, it should rewrite that data to your save file. So no need for the save game editor. Now, let's go ahead and do what everybody wants, right? We can go to... We'll go to Mirage Saloon. We'll go ahead and keep Knuckles, and then we'll go ahead and do Tails. Let's go ahead and set a Grovery Sonic. So we want to lock the moveset. We don't want to lock the moveset. We just want to set it to a grovery. We also need to go super. So let's go ahead and go with some rings. Rings are under level. Rings. Lock that to 80 so we have enough and they never go down. So now if we jump. See how it doesn't change because we have the moveset set to egg rubbery, which is what we don't want. We want to go super first. Let's go tails. And there we go, now we're super. So now we can change this to egg rubbery. Like I said, don't lock it. And if we go down here, there's two values. We want to go ahead and set both of these to set. And now if I double jump, I'm flying. And hopefully if I double jump, it'll just do what it's supposed to do and not crash the game. There we go. This works on some levels, not others. I'm not exactly sure why at the moment, but hopefully we'll figure that out and get it working on all levels completely. Um, if I wanted to go to Green Hill and enable this, you can do that. Just don't double jump, otherwise the game will crash. The game crashing isn't bad, just relaunch the game, reattach the process, and then you can go ahead and turn off whatever values, or you can retry whatever you're going to try. Notice our acceleration went up, because now we're super, they changed those values. Same thing with gravity and jump height. Let's go ahead and turn off and uncheck that emerald data. 
can lower that. We have codes for special stages and bonus stages. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if this works. I didn't test it, so let's go to Emerald Data. Let's go ahead and turn off the yellow emerald. Yes, next stage, go to, that's all fine. And let's set one of these. And of course I'm super, so it just gave me a ring. So you can get into a special stage and you can set these up however you want. Like I said, one of them is a script, so it just automatically does its thing. You don't gotta set anything. Um, now here's the cool stuff. Here's the camera hacks. Uh, these first three options you really don't got to worry about. The camera X and Y you don't got to worry about. Um, I did notice they're not working so I'm going to push a new version of the trainer that does have these working. But you really don't need to know them. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these on. And as you can see it's removing checks. If we go to player specific, it should remove our boundaries and everything preventing us from, you know, jumping off the level if we wanted to. So there we go. So if you wanted to explore, now you're free to do so. There's our loop back. And what do you know, some of it's solid. So that's the roof to the stage that we can't get onto. And what do you know, there's probably another start position here. Why anybody would get up here, I have no idea, but it's up here. So if we want to turn all this off, we can just turn it off. And there we go, our camera should be acting back to normal. Uh, we have dev menu. So let's go ahead and we'll. Now nah, let's leave that open. But you can go ahead and set a hotkey if you change that to 8. Then every time you tap it, it'll bring up the dev menu like I've been showing this entire time. Uh, that's pretty much it. There also is this is jumping. If you set that to one, even though it doesn't look like it's going to change, it'll keep changing it to one. So it'll actually act like you're not jumping. So if you wanted, so if you're Sonic and you wanted to use the uh, lightning shield over and over and over and over, set that to one, and there you go. Uh, I think that's about it. Everything else should hopefully be self-explanatory. There's not a whole lot to it, but there's a lot you can do and different combinations you can use this with. So have fun. Uh, feel free to donate if you want to. There's a link in the description. Uh, have a great day.